Hey loves, it's Elle. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much and happy Foundation Friday. Today we are trying a foundation that was recently sent to me, but I know that it's not extremely new, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for it. Is it a good foundation for fall? It's kind of that no makeup makeup look. So before we get into that, hit the subscribe button, give me a little thumbs up and let's do it. So this foundation that we're talking about today is by First Aid Beauty. It is triple protection skin tint with goji berry and SPF 30. Um, I know that this is relatively new. I, a lot of you guys have had questions about this. It is a lightweight foundation. It is just a skin tint. So this is not one for tons of coverage. It's basically a tinted SPF. Now what they say is, or what I would suggest when I've worn this before is that you can use this underneath your or current foundation for a little bit of blurring, um, a little bit of uh, obviously SPF, but in my opinion, you're not going to put on enough of this to have SPF coverage that you need. But again, this is not full coverage. This is a very lightweight skin tint finish and it is dimethicone based so you can make your own um, judgment call there but first aid beauty when they came out i have always been a big fan of them uh, they are lovely people their pr company is one of my favorites to deal with they did send me this recently and it is actually the line was created for super super sensitive skin uh, they still do uh, cater to that as well but they also now have brought out cosmetics and things like that so the line is even evolving. But I've been wanting to try this again because I will be honest with you, I did try it a little while back and I didn't talk about it because it just really didn't work for me. But I wanted to try it again on camera since the weather has changed and I wanted to introduce you to another skin tint since I do get a lot of questions about, hey, what's a lightweight foundation for aging skin? So let's get into it. I'm going to be using color light and... I'm going to apply this with my hands. For me, skin tints like this are best applied with your hands. The color range is not amazing for this product, but um, this one I think is going to be my perfect match. At least it was before. All right. Now this, when I've worn it in the past, it is similar to the Kosas oil-based foundation. Um, but it is more matte, but I do have all of my regular skincare on, so I do have my Essence Vitamin C um, Derma Growth uh, Factor Serum as well as collagen and my water cream from Tatcha and my uh, SPF from Maylove. So that is beautiful. I'm going to scoot you guys in here in a second. So this so far is really kind of a beautiful finish. I'm blown away that it's actually working for me this time. I wonder if I didn't hydrate the skin enough the first couple of times because it does have a kind of more of a matte finish feel in my hands. So you definitely want to, but it's not matte. I don't want you guys to feel like it's a matte finish because obviously you can see my skin is very very glowy from it but it is um, it does have a more matte quality to it so so far so good this is beautiful so this is what the skin looks like with one layer it is a very very lightweight foundation it feels very lightweight on the skin it went on very easily um, it does not cover very much at all but again this is a skin tint so this is just to enhance your skincare and just to kind of blur little imperfections so i'm going to add just a little bit more this definitely does have small oil absorbing properties but not aggressively I can feel that there's like a powder component to the foundation. You know what this would be good for is uh, somebody that wants one that's just going to be running around town. Very clean finish. Great probably for a younger demographic as well. So some of your teenagers. I'm just going to put a little bit down here. Yeah, so when I'm layering it, it's not layering to more coverage. Um, but it's also not getting, you know, crunchy or sitting into fine lines or sitting into pores, anything like that. So this is where I would leave it, to be honest with you. 
It feels very lightweight on the skin. Nothing is feeling heavy about it at all. I don't know if I will necessarily powder this. Um, for me, this foundation is, I'm just trying to see if I can build it up just a little bit more right here. Um, for me, this foundation just, it feels like it's going to set, but I will let you know what I end up doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Don't forget, we always go into natural light, so stay tuned. All right, everything is on. I did set my face because it did not dry down, uh, which is fine. It, uh, But I did set it with the Charlotte Tilbury's new loose powder. And of course I have powder blush and, and bronzer on and stuff like that, but I did need to set it. I am a little bit impressed. Um, I am getting a little bit of something happening around my nose. I think it might be maybe that I, it's probably due to the acids that I used last night, but it is starting to separate over the nose, but I probably would just take my beauty blender and just tap that out. But everything else looks really nice, you guys. I think it looks really pretty. I am very impressed. This is a very different experience than I've had a while ago with this foundation. So I'll get real close and then we'll go right into natural light. Pretty, right? Okay. Natural light. All right, loves, here it is. Nice up and close in real light. I like it. It feels really lightweight. I think this would be great for, um, I don't necessarily know if it'd be great for dehydrated skin, but I do think it would be fantastic for anybody that is more oily, combination, normal. I think it would be great for you guys. It is really pretty. It did do a nice job on covering up some of my imperfections. Of course, I do have a concealer underneath my eyes, which I use the Aqua Concealer from Tarte. You know I'm addicted to that stuff. But yeah, so this is it. So let's see how long it lasts. It doesn't have any claims for like long lasting, you know, forever foundation, but I am gonna be running errands today. So I wanna see how long it lasts. I do feel like it's gonna start coming off the nose though, because I do touch my face, um, this area a lot. And it's already starting to do that weird thing right here. So I do think that that might be a problem area. So if you get this, you might have to bring your beauty blender or whatever to touch up with that. So I'll see you guys in a few hours and we'll see how this holds up. Bye. Hi loves, we are six hours later and it's still looking really, really pretty. I'm very happy with the results this time in trying this foundation, but it did wear off around my nose. I touch my nose a lot because I have allergies. So that is something that you should know that it's not super long wearing. Of course, you can mix this with other foundations. I think it'd be a great mixer, but if we're talking about wearing it by itself, it's gonna wear off just a little bit, but look how pretty the skin still looks. It is more matte, um, so it definitely is not super matte, but it definitely has powder-like qualities to it, so that's why I think it'd be great for everybody from oily to even slightly dry skin would be great if you wore a hydrating primer underneath it, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed with this. I'm so happy for the results for this like fourth or fifth time wearing this foundation and I'm super to excited to report on these for you. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you've tried this foundation, if, if it's worked for you and I will see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Bye guys.